Hi dear audience, I was hesitating to upload this piece of work on YouTube. Why? Because it is a new brand work made by me. Because most of the YouTubers uh, discussing physical fac physics or science just discuss pre-settled scientific facts, explain it or prove it in another way to be more easier or more clearer. But this is a brand new work. It is uh, in thermodynamics, of course, uh, which is about the index N of the general process. Uh, because, of course, in the isotropic process, it is PV to the power K equals constant, where K is the ratio of the two specific heats, specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume. But my relation is PV to the power N is constant, where the process is a general process, could include work, and uh, could it usually includes work sorry could include heat exchange and friction and thus n is not equal to k is not equal to cp over cv but before i start my uh, proof my derivation uh, let's put some definitions which are necessary to those who are not uh, acquainted with uh, Thermal engineering and thermodynamics. Isotropic means adiabatic reversible. And adiabatic means no heat gain or loss. No heat transfer. Reversible means no friction whatsoever. Neither mechanical, nor vortex, nor turbulence. That is isotropic means no heat exchange and no friction. Rever because reversibility happens when there is no friction. Because whenever there is friction, there is non-recoverable work according to the laws of entropy. Now let's start our derivation. According to the first law of thermodynamics, uh, I am going to prove uh, my relation for one kilogram, which holds of course for any uh, amount. First for the open system and next I will close, uh, prove it for a closed system. <coughs> According to the first law of thermodynamics, dq minus dw equals delta h, and we know that delta w equals minus vdp. Also, we know that tds equals dq plus delta w friction, and thus also we know that dq plus delta w friction minus delta w equals cp dt. And dividing all through by delta W, we get that dQ plus delta W friction over delta W minus 1, because the delta W with the delta W, it becomes 1, equals Cp dt over minus V dp. But we know that Cp equals R into K over K minus 1, and V equals RT over P. The left hand side remains as it is, the right uh, hand side becomes k over k minus 1 dt over t over minus dp over p. And integrating, because this is uh, here the differential form, and integrating delta quantities q plus w friction over w minus 1 equals k over k minus 1 len t2 over t1 minus len p2 over p1 but how uh, what is p2 over p1 in terms of t2 over t1 in case our in the assumed index is n then p2 over p1 would be equals t2 over t1 to the power n over n minus 1 then q plus w friction over w minus 1 equals k over k minus 1 len t2 over t1 over minus len t2 over t1 to the power n over n minus 1 
equals k over k minus 1 len t2 over t1 transferring the index according to the law of logs here we get minus n over n minus 1 len t2 over t1 cancelling len t2 over t1 with each in the denominator with that in the denominator we get minus n over n minus 1 equals k over k minus 1 into 1 over q plus w friction over w minus 1 and multiplying both numerator and denominator by minus 1 we get n over n minus 1 equals k over k minus 1 the minus 1 is the share of the denominator here where we invert the denominator this becomes k over k minus 1 into 1 over 1 minus q plus w friction over w and the derivation for now this is uh, the how to obtain n for an open system this is the n index of the process and if you note here if q and w friction equals 0 this term the numerator of the denominator becomes 0 once this quantity is 0 where n over n minus 1 equals k over k over minus 1 which means that n equals k but we are speaking of uh, about something else if there is heat exchange and there is friction n becomes something other than k that's the limiting case when q and w friction equals 0 here the n becomes equal to the k because the n over n minus 1 equals k over k minus 1 that's all for the open system and how to find the n for an open system as to how find to find the n for a closed system again the first law of thermodynamics dq plus delta w friction minus delta w equals cv dt but delta w equals pdv and dividing all through by delta w we get that dq plus delta w friction over delta w minus 1 equals cv dt over pdv but cv equals r into 1 over k minus 1 and p equals rt over v and substituting for the values of cv and p in the left uh, right hand side we get the right uh, left hand side remains as it is the right hand side becomes r over r minus 1 dt over rt over v dv and cancelling the r with each other and dividing both numerator and denominator by t we get the right hand side becomes 1 over k minus 1 dt over t over dv over v 1 over k minus 1 dt over t over dv over v now here this is the differential form and after integrating we get q plus w friction over w minus 1 equals 1 over k minus 1 len t2 over t1 over len v2 over v1 v1 but len v2 over v1 equals len t1 over t2 to the power 1 over n minus 1 the assumed process index of course whereas we get that the left hand side equals 1 over k minus 1 len t2 over t1 over 1 over n minus 1 len t1 over t2 because this is v2 over v1 and this is t1 over t2 and to be able to make this len t1 over t2 the same as the denominator uh, we multiply by a negative sign and invert it that's minus 1 over 1 in, uh, that's 1 over n minus 1 into len t2 over t1 now the numerate the len in the numerator is like the len in the denominator so that you can cancel them with each other and canceling them with each other and cross multiplying we get that minus 1 over n minus 1 equals 1 over k minus 1 into 1 over q plus w friction over w minus 1 and multiplying both left and right hand side of the equation by minus 1 we get 1 over n minus 1 equals 1 over k minus 1 into 1 over 
the denominator would be inverted because of the minus 1 1 minus Q plus W friction over W so this is how to obtain it in case of closed system it's the same as the open system but there is no N uh, or K in the numerator of the left and right hand side I hope you find my proof valuable and uh, interesting and valuable and amusing of course uh, hope to subscribe in my channel hope to save it in your documents if you are not that interested in thermodynamics and thermal engineering tell uh, your acquaintances or relatives who are at high school studying uh, interested in physics and thermodynamics or at the university share it and tell about it to your friends who have something to do with uh, thermal engineering and thermodynamics that's all goodbye audience